Hi man, this is James. We're currently tracking guitars for the first order of a Polyon album which is entitled The Flesh. As you can see, we've got a bunch of guitars that are lying around that we're using for tracking. Mainly because we do want to get different textures out of the guitars. I know that sounds like utter, complete shit when you think of extreme metal and how all the guitars are so in your face and so aggressive, so loud that you can hardly tell the difference between the guitars. But it does actually matter what kind of guitars you use, the kind of sound you get from them. Some guitars do not sound good enough, some guitars don't have a good low end. So we've gone for our personal collections and we've picked out the ones that we think will suit the music the best. The one that I'm mainly tracking with is this, which is a Ivaness Custom Shop, which they built me, despite my ridiculous demands for over the top inlays and everything else. But it is made of um, swamp ash and it's a neck through maple and has one of the nicest playing necks I've ever set hold of in my entire life. So as, as a result, this is the one I'm tracking with mainly. I've also got a backup RG, which I'm also using just for different flavors, different textures in the guitar sound. But overall, this is my main little baby. And the, re the reason we do use these guitars is not only do they sound good, they play well, they stay in tune well, they track well. And when you're playing such demanding extreme music, you do have to be comfortable when you're playing. collaboration between talented musicians so the opportunity to work with the audio polyon for me is is exploring a different facet of musicality overall First time I met Seb and Dan properly for more than just talking fleetingly at festivals and backstage at gigs was when I went down to the um, recording sessions full of drums for this album and I was completely gobsmacked by the fact that I only booked one day to do the drums and didn't seem to be worried about it running over or taking more studio time. a bit apprehensive when I turned up but however sitting there and listening to Dan play it just made absolutely perfect sense why they were so confident at his ability to actually do the entire album in one day flat. So um, for this album that we're doing now, uh, Seb has lined up some guest musicians as well, some, some people to add a different vocal facet to some of the tracks. We've been uh, sitting together with Dan and practicing stuff, writing stuff. Um, the cool thing about him is that not only he's an awesome drummer, but he's also a, a very talented guitarist. So he was able to 
to give ideas, write some riffs. And it already adds a lot. Basically, the first album was written by uh, him and myself. We really want this to be a, a band. And uh, for the second album, everyone is going to be involved in the writing process. We especially got tired of the whole so-called true black metal scene, where, which is mostly composed of people who are trying to replicate things that have been done and done again in the 80s.